Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Churchill Downs here on Saturday. It is the 1st of October, 2022. I'm going to look at the 10th race from Churchill, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The 10th race from Churchill, it is the Lucas Classic. It's a grade 2 event going for a purse of $500,000. Races for 3-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 6 horses going to the main track. The distance of ground of 1800 meters or a mile and an eighth on the Churchill main track. 1800 meters, one mile, one eighth here in the Lucas Classic. And um, personally, I think there's a little bit too many Breeders' Cup Classic uh, prep races this weekend. Um, maybe they should have mo moved some to the prior weekend. Um, but um, also, I just think more horses should be running more often uh, because you have five in the Woodward, six in this race. This race isn't a half bad race. Uh, it's, you have some decent horses. Uh, but I, th I, I can't remember how many I saw in the, uh, in the uh, Awesome Again uh, at, at Santa Anita. I can check right now. But there's too many. Um, well, they have nine horses there or eight horses. Uh, not bad there but uh you know I, I wish the horses would run more often that that's my biggest thing but uh, my top selection here i'm going to go take the two horse art collector Let's go 2531 in the Superfecta. 2531 Super. Top selection of two horse art collector. Five year old horse by Bernardini. Belmont trains. Luis, Luis Saez gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came 26th of August to Charlestown. A mile and eighth in the Charlestown Classic. And the horse won by four and a quarter lengths that day. And he basically broke on top. He was on the front end all throughout. He quickened up nicely. And at 50 cents to the dollar with the repeat victory in the race, he just kept going. It was a very good run. Come back to church where he's 5-2. and two. He's run decently locally. I'm going to give him a shot to uh, really run another good race. Two back around the Alidar at, at Saratoga. Mile and 8th on the 4th of August. First start back from Saudi. He won by two lengths and again on the front end all throughout. He won quite easily. An all-around good race. Major improvement off the race before which was the Saudi Cup uh, in Saudi Arabia. A mile and 8th there. He finished 12th by 20 lengths. He beat two horses home. He just wasn't getting into it off the off the bench. Um, and then prior to that in last year's Brewers Cup Classic at Del Mar over the mile and a quarter. He finished six by 14 and a half lengths that day, and he just never really got going. Nick's go really put on a show on the front end. This horse just kind of crumbled late. Uh, but before that, won the Woodward at Belmont very nicely, won the Charlestown Classic, won the Alley Dar. Since coming to the Belmont barn, he's really become a lot better horse, I think. A uh, two to one, I know he's a short price, but he's a very likely winner. Um, you know, I think the five horse here, Hot Rod Charlie's your second likeliest winner. He's always the bridesmaid, not the bride. He hasn't been the bride since uh, the Amok Tomb Challenge round two, and states that hasn't been the the, the bride uh, since the, um, the the Pennsylvania Derby, but he ran an okay fourth in the Pacific, in the Bruce Cup Classic, a, okay, a very good second place finish in San Antonio, um, very good place in the in the Dubai World Cup, uh, very good place in the Salvatore Mile. Last time on the Whitney at Saratoga, I just thought he was a little bit too wide, and I think uh, you know life is good really freak that day, but uh, coming here offer some uh, a little bit of a refreshing. It won't surprise me at eight to five. This horse gets the job done, uh, but Tariq Hamma selection for the 10th from Churchill. It's the Lucas Classic. Let's take the two-horse R Collector. Give kudos to the five-horse Heart Rod Charlie. 2531 Super. 2-5 in your multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.